let's take a super chat from FM. Thank you for 10 euros. I built a seven inch iFlight frame and got about 35 kilometers range. That's freaking amazing. 35 kilometers is no, I mean, uh, I'm going to assume you did it in a completely legal way, but uh, that's a great range. That's, that's impressive. Uh, I got 35 kilometers with a 6S2P 21700. I love the 10 inch reckon frame. Would a scaled up setup get me further? Um, FM, in general, if you design a build along the same sort of principles with larger props, you will get more range. Uh, you can screw that up. You can like build a much heavier quad. And then, so it is a it is a fact that larger props will make a certain amount of thrust more efficiently than smaller props, all else being equal. Your larger build is going to be heavier, so you're going to need more thrust. But in general, you can beat that equation. In general, you can make a 10-inch build that gets more flight time than a seven inch build. In general, you can make a 13 inch build that gets more flight time than a 10 inch build. It's not always trivial to do that. Like if I had a five inch frame, it would be really easy to just take six inch arms on the five inch frame, put six inch props on it, boom, I am immediately gonna get 20% more flight time. I don't know, I made that number up, but it gets harder. If I tried to go from a 10 inch prop to an 18 inch prop, I'm gonna have to redesign the whole frame, right? I'm not just gonna stick long arms on it and have 18 inch props. You're in a different paradigm. So, but yeah, if you like going 35 kilometers, I mean, the first thing you could do is you could just try putting a larger battery on your seven inch, but then you just add a lot of weight and you really need the efficiency in the, of the larger props. So yeah, I do think you would get further with larger props.